guys are different activities, and that they occupy different time slots, and they help you in different ways. Um, all right, so the next thing, just really briefly about you know how to grow as a man. So you know, for me, I said, "Nice and link." Yeah. Nice topic. Yep. Um, walk in time for sleep. Yes. Like, Absolutely. If you're an athlete, like you need eight hours of sleep a night. Like yes. it's like almost mandatory. And I know it's really hard to do it as a like when you're in like hard school, but like if I don't know, if you block in time for it, like sometimes it'll slip every once in a while, but most of the time I literally get it done. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean it yeah, for sure. It's just like it's every other activity, it's, you know, it's just another activity that occupies time. And it's it's pretty great. Um, right, yeah, so so th these are Again, just very general thoughts about how how I think ultimate translates into the rest of your life. Um, so, I mean, some of you heard me say this before, but it's worth saying again that I think that almost all of the important things in my life in the past decade have somehow originated from ultimate. Right? You know, it, it's definitely the reason that I was able to stay in school and. Finish a PhD, and it's, it's not to say that Ultimate gave me a PhD because I worked hard at Ultimate. It's I used it as a balance or as, as a break from school, and it's, it's what kept you know kept me doing, kept me sane, all that stuff. That, that's incredibly important. You know, it's it's how I met Gail, and you know she's about the most important thing I've got going. And that's huge, <coughs> awesome, right? It's got me closer, you know, with my brother and my family because it's kind of something that my entire family is wrapped up and involved in now because, you know, both of, both of their sons are doing it and my parents bought in and that's, you know, they love it. It's, you know, it's brought everybody, everybody closer. And, that, you know, that's that's a big thing for me. Um, and just realize that, you know, ultimately it's going to give you, in my opinion, much more out than you put in, right? As hard as you work to bust your butt, to get in shape, to be a great player, how many hours you spent throwing stacks, right? You're gonna get more out of that in the long run through social connections. Maybe it helps you get a job. Maybe you meet your wife. You know, brings your family together, right? You know, whatever the hell it is, right? You're gonna get more out of it ultimately. And I think the way that you can do that, um, you know, there's a couple things here. You know, the first one for me is understanding what work ethic really is. We talk about work ethic and you know, how to, how to be a beast on the track or whatever, right? But realize we're teaching you also how to apply that to the rest of your life, right? I mean, this is a picture of me at some ungodly hour of the night doing my cross work. Um, trust me when I tell you, I did not want to be there doing this, right? Uh, and, you know, there's been a ton of nights where, you know, I've been stuck in a lab at 2 a.m. And I think about, okay, this is like the end of a track workout. This is like the last couple of reps on the squat rack. You know, this is like finishing a game on Sunday. Right? That's that's how you translate work ethic into you know something that's actually really productive in your life, like being good at school, getting your job, doing you know whatever is important to you. Um, so I encourage you really to think about how can you apply the mentality you put into ultimate into the rest of your life. I mean, I think you know, DK is the only person who can speak to this, but a relatively intense person when I work at this point, right? And it's, I don't, I think it's productive, but it's always useful to me to get shit done, to be focused and intense when I work. And that, that's learned on the playing field, it's learned on the track. I spoke a little bit about this, but this is, you know, something that to me is also really important. You know, engage your family in what you're doing. Um, so most of you, all of you, right? Grew up in probably a pretty stable household. Went to college. Parents don't hear much from you. Siblings don't hear much from you. Really, you know, we think maybe you talk every once in a while, but you know, they don't know what you're doing on daily basis. They don't know actually how invested are you in all, right? How important is this to you? And I promise you, once you communicate to that family, they're going to buy it. They're going to love it because it's something that you're doing. And they're going to be supportive. Maybe that's financial, maybe it's emotional, whatever. But you're going to have the back of your family to, again, help push you through ultimate, help push you through other things you're doing in your life. Right? This is you know, the reason I put this picture up here is probably my favorite picture of my dad. Right? My parents hosted two club teams for a tournament just because they fucking love ultimate. They love players. They 
thought it was awesome that 45 of us would just like jam into their house, right? And these are signs that my dad made so he could literally stand at the bottom of our driveway and flag people into our house, right? And this is like, you know, there's two ultimate teams come in, and so he spent an afternoon, made a couple of signs, and you know, this is like one of the happiest pictures I've seen of him in a long time. Just because it was like the whole weekend, and it was like the greatest thing possible that was happening, right? And that's huge, right? You know, it seems dumb, but it's really important in terms of like how you relate to your family, that you get them to buy into what you're doing. Um, this is also really important to me. Make, you know, make the most of your personal relationships, right? You know, I think that the same passion and focus and work ethic that you bring into, you know, what you're doing at school, your job, how you relate to your family, right? Put that into your personal relationships with us, you know, the girlfriend, boyfriend, the just buddies, the, the whatever, right? I mean, if your thing is to like go bro out at the bars with a guy, like do that. Like and do it like for real and invest in that. You know, whatever your personal relationships are, build those with the same <coughs> focus that you put in to the work for Ultimate, right? And that, that's how Ultimate, in my opinion, is going to help you grow as a person. Um, and by the same token, know when to have fun, right? So. <laughs> That, you know, to me, a big part of being a man is understanding how to balance things, right? And you know, in all honesty, you know, it's like knowing like when to put the banana suit on and have a good time, right? That that's like a big part of how you, how you grow as a person, right? I mean, I don't need to tell a lot of you guys in this room to loosen up and have a drink once in a while, and have a good time, right? This is kind of about when do you do that? When is it time to buy in? When do you use this as a release or an outlet for the other shit that's going on in your life? That, that's all about balance. It's about how to be, how to be, you know, a good man. That's how to grow as a man, right? And this is, you know, for for me, it falls in the same category. You put that same kind of focus and work ethic into, you know, having a fucking good time when you decide to go do it. Right? That's huge. That's that's a big thing to me. Um, yeah. So the the last section, I just want to talk really briefly about. Um, where we've been and where I'd like to see you go. Um, so, the program, um, as I view it, you know, my investment in this program started largely in 2007. Um, and, you know, we've talked about this, I think, with all of you at this point, or a number of you, that the vision for the program was that, you know, we were going to be, you know, a conference or a Sunday conference uh, team in 2007, 2008. We were going to move on and make regionals in 2009 and 10, right? Again, every two years, stepping, you know, one day further in the series, 2011 and 12, we're supposed to make Sunday regionals, right? Moving on, we're supposed to be in pool play at nationals in 13 and 14, right? In 15, we're supposed to be in pre-quarters or better, right? And for me, this is, in all honesty, this is an achievable goal. This is 100% achievable. It's about what you do. It's about applying all the things that I've talked about into everything you do, on the field, off the field, it's the same kind of focus and work ethic, and I think you can get there, and you know, this is where we've been so far, right, we're sort of a day behind the past three years, right, I mean, I think this year we're three points away from getting ourselves back on track, getting Sunday at regionals, and absolutely next year I think you all probably agree that next year that's an achievable goal. It's a Sunday in region, right? The important thing to note is that, you know, the guys that are in the program, the guys that are entering the program, like the freshmen right now, in my mind, this is the bar, right? This is where you're supposed to go. You know, but I, I absolutely expect that you're going to be at regionals next year. You're going to be at nationals two years down the road, right? And by the time you guys are playing your fifth year or you're exiting the program, you're training the team to be in pre-quarters or better at nationals. And to me, it doesn't matter that we're a small school. It doesn't matter that we're an academic-based school. You know, the qualifiers from New England this year are Harvard and Tufts. They're relatively small schools. They're academic schools. Right? They make it happen year in, year out. Right? Dartmouth has done it. Brown has won a national title. Right? And sort of the you know, the prehistoric area. Mr. Yacht went to nationals a couple times, right? I mean, it's doable in our program. You, you need to believe it, you need to believe it now, not 
three weeks before sectionals or conference training, right? He needs to start now. He needs to be saying in 2011 that we're going to go to nationals in 2013. That, to me, is, is sort of the biggest message that I can leave with you guys is that it's attainable, but you've got to decide to do it. And nobody's going to do it for you. It's you who has to make it happen. And just a couple of